Come on, baby, let's go. You can do it. Fired up, ready to go, waiting for Z to confirm that this is actually live. Come on, baby. Yay! Dill Pickle, Tyler, and John. It's working! Woo! It's working! It's my third try. What's up, Levi? John? How's it going? Everybody. It didn't take. The first two didn't take. Third time's a charm. We are live. How's everybody doing? Everybody hanging in there? Having a good time? What are we doing, says Levi. We're doing a, a little mixer. We're doing a 2018 Series 1 Jumbo Mixer. These are just a few of the, the mixer aspects. What's up, Gavin? Ron, how the heck are you? So yeah, we're doing two Jumbo boxes of 2018 Series 1. Let me show you. Oh yeah, by the way, all of the silver packs are included, which is a rarity. Because a lot of times people will just sell off, like the, the older stuff, they had the silver packs just loose when they weren't included inside the boxes. Either the card shop guys or the big, the big guys like Blowout, they would just take these and sell them and not give them to people. So it's kind of hard finding the actual Jumbos with silver packs. No, this is a group group break, Tyler. Boom! Series one jumbos. We're looking for we're looking for all kinds of sweet stuff. Devers. That Devers rookie gold that I've been talking about forever. I hope we pull it and someone gets lucky. But lots of cool golds we could get. The Devers, Walker Bueller. Reese Hoskins, Flaherty, Albies, Verdugo, Victor Robles, just to name a few. So, it's going to be great. Oh, thanks, Roan Bear. You like that box? You like my box. Tom Brady of the Buccaneers, question mark, indeed. I don't know. Is he going to go to the Bucks? Is he going to retire? What's going to happen? Does anybody want old man Brady anymore? There was actually even rumors that he was going to go to the Lions. You like this reveal? Just whoo, reveal. Some nice cards in the back. We can talk about them. Oh, don't forget Mejia. Yes. That's right. Can't forget about him. Oh, Levi. Sorry, it's sold out, buddy, but I listed another one. So if anybody wants... To get in, I made a, a very inexpensive little break. It's like a mini version of this one. It's on strikerbreaks.com. I lowered the shipping price as much as I could. And if anybody is involved with this break and they want to get in the next one, use the code MINISHIP to get $2 off your shipping. I can't do it for free because there's just too much. I'm going to end up losing a bunch of money if I do that. So, But $2 off will get me... It's as about as low as I can go. But I want to do something. I want to do whatever I can for you guys. I want to help people. Relieve relieve stress. Have fun. Bring a little bit of levity to the situation if possible. Baseball's postponed, but not for us. Not in our world. We're still gonna crush. No matter what. Isn't that right, Fernando? Oh yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, the opening day video got eBay took it up or uh, YouTube took it off. They they took it off. So that's why you can't see the opening day video. We knew, we all knew. It was fun while it lasted though. So sorry about that. We can't listen to that music anymore. We can't listen to good music anymore. So we'll just have to listen to the free stuff. Some of it's good. Some of it's okay. Right. But the funny part is, <laughs> the funny part is, not all did it. Not all people that we played gave a 
whatever the bad one is where they make you take the video down. Because if you just get a copyright claim, they just take all your money. So if you p say I play like Chili Peppers or something, they're just going to take all the money. Okay, that's fine. We still had fun. But some people are really particular about it and they want you to just to take the video down completely. So Hootie and the Blowfish, they gave me the big one, the big bad take it down. Alanis Morissette, she didn't like it. And also ACDC. So those three didn't take kindly to the striker stream. Michigan in the house. So yeah, good Mark, I hope you guys had fun. I don't know, but it'll be all right. When's the mini break? Hopefully tomorrow. It's already filling up. I haven't even told anybody about it, and some people already got in on it. So I didn't tell the slammers first because it's just a little minor, little mini one, you know? It's $9.99 plus shipping. I wanted to do something where more people could get involved. I know financial times are questionable right now. So a little cheap $9.99-er. That way we can have some fun together. And also, another reason I did it is because uh, Inception got pushed back a few days. Inception was supposed to come out tomorrow. I was hoping Trenchcoat guy would hook me up so I could do a video about it today, but no. It's, it's not around. So Friday, that's going to come out. So that's, you know, our, our fun with Inception is going to get pushed back a little bit. Oh well. Yeah, the real problem is the fear, but we don't have fear here. No fear, just common sense, precautions, that's all. It's all sparky. We didn't do the, uh, we didn't do the randomizing or anything yet. We'll do that at seven, a few more minutes. We're just chatting, chatting it up. Jagged little gammas is right, Roan Bear. Jagged little gammas. Taken down striker stream. Why? I posted a, a video. Uh, it's just a walk in the park video. You guys should watch it. You know, it helps me out. I made it for you guys. It took quite a while to edit. It's like a half hour long. There was a, just a ton of videos. But the way you guys can help me is just play the whole video. Even if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just play it in the background. Because... We can all help each other out. That's an easy, free way for you guys to help me out. Play the video in the background or just watch it because there's some kind of fun things. We discovered a creepy little, I don't even know what it was, like a how, like a fort, creepy fort in the middle of the woods. Real creepy. We also, we also found a, another creepy spot under a bridge with a ton of graffiti. There were some swans out there, some wildlife, so... Yeah, it's chill. Can we start now? Here, here's what, here, here's what I think of that comment. Banned for life. Is that good enough? There we go. See, I don't, I have no clue, John, when the season's gonna start. Don't know. Nobody knows. I'm just. Just crush until it starts, and then keep crushing once it starts. That's all you can do. Help your neighbor, help your friends, any way you can. If anybody wants to email me, chat, feel free. If anybody has any ideas of things that I could do to uh, make entertaining videos for you that you would enjoy, shoot me an email. You know, I... Pretty much the only thing I can do is try to provide a little bit of levity and entertainment and uh, have some fun with breaks, you know? That's my job. If you guys have anything in mind, any kind of breaks that you want to do, let me know. And, you know, we'll just, we'll just crush. Kyle Tucker's all about it. Luis Robert wants to play baseball so bad. Look at him. You can just tell by looking at him. He's ready to hit some homers. Otani has never been more ready in his whole life. And the Tatis, orange number to 25. Boom. Ready for the show. He's ready for the show. 
I am too. If you guys are ready for the show, let's go. Let's get some randomizing taken care of. All righty. Yeah, Rob, I got the, well, I assume I did. I got a package in the mail, so I'll open it maybe tomorrow, make a video, because I got some friend mail too from BMAC. So got a package to open, and I'll open something else in the video tomorrow and then upload it. Uh, shoot me, maybe I'll make a little poll. I'll put a poll out on the community page asking you guys what I should rip for the video. I've got like 10 different things I can rip. So, that'll be fun. The crazy thing is I feel the best I have, like health-wise, in probably about two months. I feel like a million bucks. I hope you guys do too. All right, let me grab the computer, put it up here. We'll get, we'll get to rolling. Rolling and randomizing. You got stuck with McKay, Rob? Oh. It what, for the auto? Or just in the in the box? Or whatever that's called. I got the McKay. But if you got a McKay Auto, that's awesome. I got the Josiah Auto out of the last wave. That's sweet that you got the McKay Auto, though. I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome to get a, a Robert Auto, but I'd rather have a McKay than some other scrub. All right, guys, let's do the teams first three times randomizing there's one there's two there's three strikerbreaks.com if you guys want to get on the in on the mini one it's going on tomorrow 999 plus shipping and I dropped the shipping price as low as I possibly can All right, we got the teams in there. Well, I tried, I How many times? Three times. I, I think McKay might be my dark horse rookie. All right, three times. There it is. Nina's leading off. I've been struggling to capture the, the very first letter. Come on. There it is. Sorting. Z. Okay, you guys ready? Ten dollars for Rob, my man. Don't forget to like the live stream. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. That's huge, man. Appreciate it very much. Everybody help each other out. Do whatever you can for your brothers and your neighbors and your sisters and everybody. All right, here we go. Starting off, leading off, Diamondbacks. Nina, Braves, Scott A. Orioles, Luke B, Red Sox, Christopher E, Cubs, Glenn, 
N, White Sox, Stephen J, Reds, Pat R, Indians, Scott A, Rockies, Jess K, Tigers, Pat R, Astros, Robert B, Royals, Nina, Angels, Christopher E, Dodgers, Scott A, Marlins, Luke B, Brewers, Dennis G, Twins, Nicholas A, Mets, Nina, Yankees, Mark B, Athletics, Mark B, Phillies, B Mac, Pirates, Anthony M, Padres, Nina, Giants, Robert B, Mariners, Kenneth D, Cardinals, Kenneth D, Rays, Mark D. Rangers, B. Mac, Blue Jays, Cubby, Nationals, Clinton. All right, let me get you guys a link. Getting a link right now. There you go. Check it out. Check out your teams if you need be. And I'm going to print this off for myself. Oh, the two-step print. Rome Bear! Smiling face with sunglasses. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. All right, let me grab the sheet and we'll get ready to rock. Doing this, and this, and this, and these. Here we go. There it is. Okay, what should we start with? What should we start with? What do you guys want to start with? I got two little, it's basically going to be two rounds of this, what you see here. We're not doing the redraw rounds, but you know what I mean. Two boxes of each of these things. Give me a suggestion. You want to start small? Start down here. Maybe do like a boom, 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 boom. No, I didn't. I did not hear that, Rob. 18 hanger. All right. All right, Al Dave. I like it. Hook me up with a like. Let's get that number up, guys. The more likes, the more likely it is for a straggler to stroll in here. Have a good time with us. Become a, a new member of the hitters. Maybe even a slammer. Oh yeah, the hangers are awesome. You pulled all the good rookies from four boxes recently? Sweet. All right, lots of good rookies. We're looking for lots and lots of good rookies. See who the first one is. Who can we find first? Hold up, I gotta raise this up just a little bit so I can see. There we go, that's so much better. Well, we're gonna get all the good rookies for sure from two jumbo boxes. It's just a matter of who are the, the special ones. 
with like a gold or some kind of a parallel. I imagine we get at least one of all the good rookies. By the time it's all said and done, probably doubles. Chance Cisco. There's one of the not good rookies. Parker Bridwell. JD Davis, rookie. Nolan. Oh, sweet. We got the Flaherty Rainbow right off the bat. That's a jackpot right there. KD. Crushing. What all is being opened? We got a jumbo series one with all, two jumbos of series one with all the silver packs. Two blasters of 2020 series one, two blasters of 2019 update, and two blasters of 2018 series one. So that's a good start. I'm trying to get my penny sleeves here. I love Flaherty, man. He might be the best pitcher in the league this year. Never know. He's being drafted like, like he has the potential to be. That was another bummer having to push all the, all the fantasy drafts back. El Nino! We're just having a great time with baseball cards. Got a Sano, Chris Sale, McCutcheon. Let's see who else we can get. There's another Jack. There's another Jack. Base Jack. He is a pitcher. And you guys know how I feel about pitchers. Let me know if I miss a short print too, because I don't have a ton of experience. The 2018 Series 1. I imagine they'll be in the middle of the packs. The short prints. Found any 2018 update? No. No. Not in a while. I mean, like a month ago, I, I did. I found a few of the value packs. But I haven't seen 2018 update around in quite a while. Let's go right, let's go just right down the hanger box route. Uh, the blue McCutcheon. Yeah, it's sort of an SP, I guess, right? More of a parallel. But I guess an SP is a parallel. Or a parallel is an SP. Let's see how I'll pull her out. that in the good card pile oh uh, these cards are all going out to people people bought into the rips so all of these cards are spoken for we randomize the names and they get a random team and then they get all the cards from that particular team So yeah, guys, check out my last video I made. Nature walk, calming. Helps me out when you watch it. Even if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just let it play. The longer, the longer duration people watch it, the more YouTube will suggest it to other people. That's how that works. So the longer you guys watch it, the more it helps me. Okay, here we go. We've got a gold Chase Anderson. A gold Chase Anderson. Just what the doctor ordered. Going to Dennis. There you go, Dennis. The Reese. Hey. 
And we got a Johnny Bench die cut. It's pretty sweet. That one's going to Pat. Discount Trout. Into the turkeys, we got a Meadows, a Chew. Oh, and the Aquino. That'll do. Going to Pat. Mall Rats, best Kevin Smith movie. Although Dogma was very good. A lot of them. Clerks was good. He looks so strange now that he's lost all that weight. Kevin Smith. The classic heart attack, eye-opening experience. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how something so horrible can end up being the best thing that ever happened to you? Apply that logic to the current situation. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. All right, here we go. 2019 update. Yeah, I've never, I don't even know what TikTok is, Rob. I should probably look into that. What is TikTok? Is it like an Instagram type thing? Or, uh, I mean, a Snapchat type thing? Or like YouTube or what? I just keep hearing TikTok and it's usually negative publicity attached to it. So it must be something good. If the media says it's bad, it must be something good. It's like Vine. Oh yeah, that's what, yeah, like Vine. So it's like short clips. Are you only allowed like 15 second clips or something? So it must be good. 15 seconds to a minute. I could speed rip PC stuff. <laughs> speed rip. Go all the way through the cards to the center of the pack. All right, we got Chavis Rookie. Going to Boston. Christopher E. Will Smith. Going to Scott. Hansel. All right, it's a CJ Cron. Gold. Going to the Minnesota Twins, Nicholas A. Everyone advertises their YouTube channel on TikTok, so just go there and advertise. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Don't force it or you'll die fast. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, well, it wasn't just Alanis that, that gave me the strike of death. Austin Meadows going to the Tampa Bay Rays Mark D. Got a cool Ozzy. Iconic. Iconic Ozzy. I want to own that real one. What a beauty. What is with me in shortstops? Why do I love all the shortstops? Ted Williams, Jackie Robinson, Jacob deGrom. We got the welcome to Philly Bryce. Two of them. Because they stop short. I don't know what it is. All my favorite players are shortstops. Cunha. Tatis. 
and Vladdy. Back to back excellent cards. The Vladdy home run derby and the Tatis rookie debut. I'm not good at advertising my my stuff that well. I don't know. I, I don't really care to advertise. I kind of like it better that people find me on their own, which is a is not a smart business tactic, but I don't know. That's just what I. That's how I roll. And it keeps the good people in here. Like everybody here is awesome. We don't have any trolls or anything like that. Rarely. Every once in a while, you get a troll. But if you go advertising your channel on all different platforms and stuff, you end up with a lot of, a lot of people you don't want. I would rather have fewer high quality people than like millions of people that aren't high quality. What's up, Dwayne? Sports kids? Tatis rakes in the show. I want to play the show really bad. I think about it every day. Bay City's been enjoying some update. Yeah, I want to play. I want to play the show, but I know what's going to happen because I, there's a lot of releases coming out. I'm going to be very, very busy. I know I'm going to play it for like half of a day, and then just bombarding. I'll be bombarded with work, and I won't be able to to do it anymore. And then it'll be like a waste of sixty dollars. But I think about it all the time. I even watch some videos of people playing it. All right, here's our jumbo, guys. Then we'll do two of the silvers. We'll save the other two for the second batch. The show's going to be cross-platform, like Call of Duty. There's another one. I want to get into that Call of Duty ground... What's it called? Ground War? Whatever it is that the new one, that the new free Call of Duty thing, but you have to have Xbox Gold, and I don't have that right now, so I don't know. But I really want to play that too. There's a trout. Does anybody know what that's called? Warzone. Thank you, Gavin. Has anybody played that? Warzone. It looks really fun. Trout, trout, trout. Swimming about. more people can get in on it if they want we'll do it tomorrow i'm sure it'll be filled by then might be filled by the end of this i don't know based in rookie going to the phillies b mac going to you buddy i got your package brandon i'll rip it in a video tomorrow seattle slayers There's the Verdugo rookie, rookie subset, and Lewis Brinson gold. Going to the Brew Crew. Gary the Goat and a George Springer rainbow foil World Series highlights. Insert joke here. Oh, nothing huge yet. We, well, we got the, the Flaherty Rainbow. But we're just now getting into the Jumbo. So we'll get our Relics and Autos from the Jumbo, guaranteed. And then the Silver Packs have potential for an Auto as well. Sorry about that if it died. I keep getting pop-ups on my phone. I should have put it into airplane mode before we started. Clayton Claus. Yeah, I love that one. I love that Flaherty. Here we go. Here's a Verdugo rookie. Going to the Dodgers. If you got the Dodgers this break, it's a pretty good one. Love me some Verdugo. It's right within reach. I always keep my Verdugo first auto within reach.
Yeah, those those tins are sweet, aren't they? Got the got the complete set. I'm gonna keep them sealed. I bet you there's a golden ticket in one of those too. Wouldn't that be just my luck? <laughs> Having a golden ticket in one of the sealed. Uh, that would be. There's six of them in the set. You got Bellinger, Vladdy, Trout, Pete, Mookie, and Judge. Uh, the cards, so the cards just go to whatever the team is on the card. And if there's two players on a card, it'll go to the guy on the left. If it's top to bottom, it goes to the... Jeez, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to do the tap, tap, sweep, sweep. Come on, guys. Keep, come on. We got to help each other out. <laughs> this, so we sweep away the bad luck with Bud Selig's very obvious toupee. And then we give new infused luck with Clayton Claws because he's here to bring us presents. So we gotta sweep all that. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Tap, tap, tap. There. Now, now it's time. Sims or Willie Calhoun. It's a strange picture because Willie looks a little different than that. Oh, good lord! All right, guys, let's keep the the, the black despair out of here in the black. I don't want to hear about any of that. We're here for baseball cards, ripping cards, having a good time. You can go turn to CNN if you want to talk about that crap. Oh, the, there we go. Rainbow Trout. That's a sweet one. The Rainbow Foil Trout. Yes. Christopher. Christopher. Boom. Very pretty. Loving it. There we go. Look at how the light glistens off of him. Followed up with a Ozuna short print. Look at that. There you go, Luke. Just when you thought you had the Marlins and you weren't going to get anything good. There you go. Oh yeah, these are called uh, Silver Packs. Silver Packs, they, there's four cards in them and you can get auto autographs in there and the autographs, especially of the rookies, big dollars. Can we? Oh, that was a weak toss. I'll try better next time. We'll have to get a dinger. Ring the bell, Clayton. Okay, there's another one. Got the got the Walker Bueller rookie. Scott A. With the Walker. And that's the end of the pack. Now that everything has the proper luck added. Did you notice immediately we got a trout after tap, tap, sweep, sweep? Inception is the next Tops release and Diamond Kings is the next. Yeah, Inception will be coming out Friday, which I bought a whole case of it. So 
we can do some breaks of that for sure. I, I like Inception a lot. I like the colors. I like the guaranteed autos. I like the card stock. There's some really cool relics you can pull out of there too. Unique relics. Uh, there's booklets you can get out of there. And this year is going to be the best Inception in a while because it has all the good rookies. So there's an Anduhar. Anduhar rookie. Going to Mark B. And the beauty of these is, like, as opposed to those random hanger packs that you might find around retail, you know, you get a sealed, because these, these come from a sealed case, these jumbos. So the quality should be very high, as high as it gets. Clint Frazier rookie. Another one going to Mark. You don't have to worry about the, the packs and everything being handled and having the corners and everything else all tore up. Mother's Day Dansby. Yeah, the look and the feel of the Inception cards are pretty sweet. Inception, I think it's usually like 60 to $70. Which is what it is this year, right? $69.95 or something. Come back, come back player, Ryan, Ryan Zimmerman. White Sox, Frank Thomas. And a numbered card, Dexter Fowler. To two ninety nine. Going to the Cardinals. Canny. It's pretty groovy. I don't think Inception will have Robert. I'm, I'm thinking the first official Robert card is going to be Series 2. But they don't have a checklist out yet, so I don't know. Unless it came out like within the last few hours. Got a Dansby. And the Victor. Victor Robles. Going to Clinton. Nice card. Victor rookie. I love Victor. Good player. If he leads off this year, watch out. He's going to put up some stats. Lots of runs. Lots of stolen bases and runs. So he could help your fantasy team out. Depending on where he's going currently, haven't been doing a ton of fantasy research lately. Usually I kind of start doing it a week before the draft. But, you know. Yeah, he's not leading off Trey is. Yeah, I know. They were putting him last year eight or nine hole. and But sometimes he let off, like when Trey got hurt. Trey kind of seems like he's a bit of an injury-prone player. Hopefully that's not the case, but... I don't know. Oh, I'm jonesing for Gypsy, too. That's one of my favorite releases. It's going to be so much better this year, Gypsy, than last year. I bought a whole case of it last year, split it between a few of my buddies, and it wasn't very good, but it was still really fun because they didn't have any of the big rookies really in there. I think they had Ramon Lariano. Uh, that's about it. Frank the Tank. Oh, yeah, I got a hot one. Got a hot one here, brother. Ripping that 2018 S1 right before the Devers explosion year. That's what this year is going to be. The year of Devers. Oh, Mark. He's got an auto in Inception? Wow. You're talking Robert, right? That's, that's good news. I would totally eat a bat. Harrison Bader. I would... There you go. It's got a little bit of white shown on the corners, but overall, pretty nice. Going to the Rockies, Jess. There you go, Jess. If you're in here, I think you are. Congratulations. Ryan McMahon on card auto. Oh, 
There we go. Let's go! Front and center. All right. Best card I've ever pulled. Uh, I, it, it's it's a tough one, man. I pulled a bunch of one of ones. I pulled the Jordan Alvarez SSP, which is a very expensive card. I pulled a. Um, I've pulled some printing plates. Um. All kinds of stuff, man. I, I pulled a Adley Auto Blue First. That's a really nice one, the Blue First, Blue Wave First Adley Auto. Would I say this is an underrated product? Well, it's starting to get the respect it deserves. I would say it was underrated about three months ago, potentially. But the price keeps going up every day, so I'm happy that we could uh, get into it, get in on a break before the price is unaffordable, like update. And Series 2, 2018 Series 2 is getting to the almost unaffordable point. You know, while we're at it here, I'm going to show you the odds, just in case anybody wants to go back and look. Because I want to make a value spreadsheet video for... 2018 update series one or 2018 series one and I want to include hobby jumbo and hanger boxes and compare across formats to find out what the best odds are for certain things I think you guys would enjoy that one Bowman Chrome Keston RPA of 50 oh no Hall of Hits Hall of Hits are all cards that I pulled for other people. I think. I might have that. I might have put my blue Vladdy on there. I can't remember. Let's see if I got her nearby. This is one of the best cards I ever pulled for myself. The blue to 25 Vladdy Auto. Rookie. I can't remember if that one's on the website or not. On the Hall of Hits. Andujar. Another Andujar rookie. Brian Anderson rookie. A Brandon Woodruff rookie. Clint Frazier. We're rolling. Another Judge. Bradley Zimmer. And a Miguel Cabrera game used piece of memorabilia. Going to Pat. Pat R. Going to you, buddy. Just leave that up for you. Yeah, Mark, it was it was a damaged box. So I didn't want to I didn't want to use it in a break because I didn't know what was inside. So I just opened it for myself and it ended up being a Vladdy. Like the best thing I've ever pulled. One of for me. I did pull a Otani auto out of archives last year. That was pretty nice. That was one of the better things. My favorite product is Bowman stuff. I love regular Bowman for a lot of different reasons, but it's it's one of the best value products every year. Now this year, the price for Bowman stuff has already gone through the roof. It's already like hobby stuff. Hobby is right around 200, I think, and the jumbos are already just 350 or more. So my plan for this year to tackle Bowman is to do a lot of retail. So, because retail prices stay the same, hobby prices keep going up. So if you can find the Bowman Retail, that's a good route to go. They had it available 
pre-sale on walmart.com. I didn't get any though. I hope I don't regret that. I hope I don't regret not getting any. The blaster boxes. But you can get it at Target and I guess Walmart. I don't remember getting it at Walmart last year, but apparently you can get the regular Bowman stuff at Walmart and Target. You can get those nice little uh, value packs, the Bowman value packs. I don't remember what my conclusion was because I made a value video of those last year and I broke it all down. I can't remember what the conclusion was, what, what the best route. I don't think my statistics were quite as good at that point. I've, re I've refined it. There's a McMahon. Zach Granite rookie, Delmonico, Santos rookie. Oh, Bowman Sapphire is amazing if you can get it for like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, wholesale pricing from the website, from, from the Topps website. If you can get it for that price, that's a golden ticket. But if you have to pay secondary market prices, it is not a golden ticket. It Go back and watch. I made a video, oh, sweet, of the top 10 releases last year. Go back and watch that video. You'll, I broke everything down. Walker Bueller, rainbow foil rookie. That's a sweet one, Scott. So here's the two best young pitchers, in my opinion. Walker Bueller and Jack Flaherty. We got them both, both rainbows. of pre-order on walmart is it still pre-ordered cedar because i mean you can pre-order it now you know the release is a month from now but i think you'll be able to find those blaster boxes for 20 bucks at, uh, you know right around that time too so that's a nice start we got there two of the best young pitchers in the league both rainbow foils awesome Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Strikerbreaks.com if you guys want to get in on the next one. We're going to do another one like this, a little smaller. It's only $9.99. So that most people can afford it. Got another Flaherty. Trying to organize these a little bit as I'm breaking. Saves me a few minutes. few minutes of sorting all right we got four more in this box yeah I know it's like a rainbow foil hot box I can't wait to get an awesome gold I've got a good feeling we're gonna get a really nice gold Yeah, Dwayne, Bowman Platinum's not as good. It's a fun rip. I ripped a lot of Bowman Platinum last year just because in the middle of summer, there's nothing else. I mean, there's other things, but when they come out with it, there's plenty of it in the stores for you to buy. And it also has some of the young players too, which I like. There's a Devers. There we go. And an Albies, back to back. That's what I'm talking about. Scott A's getting the Albies. And Christopher's getting the Devers. Nice. Another rainbow. Chris Rowley. Yep, we're going to get them all. We're going to get all those good rookies. They've got a lot of Heritage Mega Boxes and Chronicles. I don't like the Panini retail. I like Panini hobby because you get your guaranteed hits. Panini retail, nobody knows what the ratio is of hits. There's no odds on there, so we can't figure it out. And it's just like wide open for, for the card companies to to give you an inferior product because there's no way of telling. 
Now, I have heard anecdotal stories about people pulling some good stuff from, like, Chronicles. But, you know, small sample size. This sounds like Vampire Weekend. I hope it's not. Okay, it's not. Good. I think we're still in the clear, guys. I'm not going to get taken down. But yeah, shoot me an email, you guys. I had over 6,000 messages last month. I try to respond to all of them. It's almost impossible, but if anybody needs to talk or has any, any ideas for anything that you want me to... Any videos or any breaks or anything like that. I'm here for you. I'm not like all the other breakers. It's not all about just like flying through the cards and making money. It's about building a community and having fun. Jonathan Scope! Independence Day. That's a beauty. Number to 76. Sweet. Luke. Luke, you're crushing. That's beautiful. Dude, Heritage Retail is where it's at. I did a video about that, breaking it down, breaking down the value. You can go back and watch that too if you want. But yeah, Heritage Retail is, is good stuff, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I got an initial blaster box and hanger box and value pack so I could uh, do the value comparison and so I could get all the numbers off the boxes. But since then, there have been none in any of the stores I've been to. And I've been to every store. So if you can, and all the stories I've heard about people's heritage retail stuff has been crazy. Like Dave Durango broke a bunch of retail and it was awesome. Like all the stuff he got out of it, he got some real big hits. James got a Jack Flaherty. One of one? Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. FOTL Breaker got a Tatis out of that heritage. Yeah. My boy. All right. Two left, and then we'll do a couple silver, a couple silver packs. Maybe pull some crazy stuff. Uh, I'm good, Dwayne. I'm good, man, on the heritage. I usually what I do is I just go forward. I I rarely go backwards. Like we're doing, we're going backwards right now. When I go backwards, it's years. Typically, not releases. I try to stay on the forefront of everything that's coming out so that I know, so that I can help inform other people. And, you know, it's good to know about all the products because I don't want to, I don't want to rip anything that's not good. So I'll take the bullet. I'll open something up. If I find out it's no good, I'll let you guys know like I've done in the past. And then we won't, we won't, we won't break any unless you guys are absolutely like fiending for it. All right, here we go. Middle of the pack. Got a Rizzo. Father's Day Rizzo. And a Brian Anderson gold. That doesn't look very gold, does it? But it is. To 218. There you go, Luke. Luke, man, we're calling out your name. And we got a Brian Dozier. Fielding Award. Texas Rangers. Rainbow foil. There's a Walker Bueller rookie. And a bunch of upside down cards. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, 
I think there are. I keep seeing orders pop up on my phone though, so I don't know how many spots are left for that break. It's gonna be tomorrow though, guys. So we got something to do tomorrow too. Let me grab this stack of base and take care of it. We got one, one pack left, hold up. We'll do this last pack. Then I'll clear the stage and we'll keep going. Oh, you got your Bellinger MVP? Oh, sweet. Yeah, that set is really nice. You guys saw I, I, I got the Verlander one. That one's, it was Cubbies though, but I did the redemption for him because he was out of the country. And he wouldn't have had it. He wouldn't have been able to do it in time. All right, this is the last box, or the last uh, pack in the box. We got Thicky. We got Thicky in here. It's going to be a relic. Hold on to your hats. Let's get a trout relic or something, something good. No way. Dude, it's another Miggy relic. Whoa. That's a fancy one. Two Miggy relics in the same box? What? Spring training logo patch. That one's a lot thicker. Pat, you're getting hooked up. It's a Miggy box. Auto relic would be spectacular. Hopefully the next box we can get an auto relic. Hopefully these silver packs have one. I'm going to double stack the Miggy relics so we don't run out of room. Anything else? Are we going to find anything else? Nope. All right, two silver packs. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a summertime mix. Oh, you're talking about Miggy. Ha! Good one. I'm a little slow. Here we go. Anything thick? Flick! Oh, that one went behind the shelf. Okay. Albie's rookie. It's a good start. Going to Scott. Got an Ian Happ. Garrett Cooper rookie. Going to Yanks. And a Goldschmidt. Okay. Pack number two. Is it thicker? Feels like it might be a little thicker. I don't know, though. Just got to do it nonchalantly. Oh, almost got it. Almost. Delmonico rookie. De Young rookie. That's a nice one. Bellinger. And Cal Ripken Jr. Alrighty. Alright, let me take care of this stack of base, guys. It'll just take me less than a minute. They're already selling 2,000 Bowman draft. Yeah, they, they pre-sell this stuff as early as they can so they can get the money in their pocket before they even deliver the product. Almost done. A lot more cards than I thought. Incoming! <sighs> All right, that was a pretty nice round of ripping there. 
But this time, we're gonna infuse the luck right off the bat. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Tap, tap, tap. And over here, sweeping, tapping. All right. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, 2000, not 2020. Who was in 2000 Bowman draft? The Trout? No. No, he was 2011. Not 2001. I'm thinking 2001. 2000 Bowman draft. Is that Pujols? Nina's here! Hooray! How's it going, Nina? Just in time for the second batch of cards. We've been successful so far. Like you, like you know, always is the case. We got your your favorite rainbow cards of the Walker Bueller rookie and the Flaherty rookie. Because here's why this is so crazy. There's so many cards. There's 350 cards in the set, and you can get anybody. And we got two of the best rookies. So that alone, and a rainbow trout. And some other great things. Bring in the gravy. Okay, we're doing the 2018 hanger box right here. See if we can't pull anything spectacular. Clint Frazier rookies left and right. Lots of these judge cards too. They loaded it up with judges. It seems like those are like back to back every time. Got a Reese rookie. Austin Hayes. Delmonico. Matt Harvey gold. Remember him? Everybody remember Matt Harvey? Yeah, I remember him. The Dark Knight. Zach Godley. Rainbow. That one's going to Nina. Just in time, Nina. Surprise, surprise, you get a rainbow foil card. Never in your wildest dreams would you have thought you were going to get a rainbow card from a striker break. For anybody that doesn't know, Nina always gets rainbow cards in the breaks. If I didn't know any better... I would think she has a monopoly on the rainbows. Another Flaherty. Crushing the Flaherty's. All right. Those Devers are hard to pull though, aren't they? We only got one so far. Let's mix it up. Let's do this. 2019 update. Hanger box. What's up, Robert? New to the party, 42 pros? Been sorting all afternoon. I know all about that, brother. You would like to start an auto trend. Jess, I don't know how to start a trend, but I'll try. Maybe I should get the bill hook out. Maybe I'll bill hook the Series 2, or this, the 2018 Series 1. Maybe that's what I'll do, and we'll start a trend. Sounds good. For anybody new, beware of the bill hook. It'll get you. Got a Yaz, got a Biggio, rookies, yucky. Got a yucky Kakuchi, Duplantier. It's not my fault that things sound nasty when you say Kakuchi. his dad's fault 
Here we go. Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, there it is. There's the 150 year stamp. Frankie Mantas going to the A's. Who's got the A's? Mark B's got them. Get yourself a little Frankie. Mariano. Judge. Nolan Ryan. We got two stamps and one. Hey, what? What? Hold on. Am I seeing things? We got two stamps in one in one pack. What spectacular luck. Wow. And that one's numbered. 105 of 150. Sweet. That one's going to Scott. Tap, tap, sweep, sweep. Always works. Stamp of approval. Reyes. Going to Minnesota. All right, let's do this one. We'll do the 2020 Series 1. Hanger box. Got to rip these from the bottom, guys. Everybody knows. And then it just slides right out. Bang that like for me. Slam it. Crush it. Slap it. Whoops. Whoops. That is if you like what you see. If you don't like it, well, I don't have anything to say to you. These cards feel way smoother than the other ones. Dustin May rookie. Nico. Soto. These ones feel so smooth, it's crazy. Compared to the other ones, I don't know why. And a home run challenge, Javier Baez. Going to the Cubs. Glenn. Got a couple of Reese cards. Got a Hank Aaron, Decades Best. No Stampy on there. Another Hank Aaron. A couple turkeys. Nothing crazy. Laser. Lazardo. Rookie. Tar Target has 2020 Tops Blaster Boxes for sale. $16.99. They do? Right now? It's a pretty good deal. Maybe there's a golden ticket in there, too. There's a trout swimming around. All right, that's that. Save the silvers, get the bill hook out. I'm gonna give it an extra sweep just in case any COVID got on here while we weren't looking. Tapping into good. Just in case you've never seen the bill hook. Here it is in all its glory. Not all of its glory. There's more where that came from. Okay, I'm not gonna cut myself. This is all good. There, there we go. Slide in, that's good enough.
Are they still on sale? That's a good price. $14.99? That's a really good price. Especially with all those coupons in there. If you can get them for $14.99 with all those coupons, it's basically free. Oh yeah, my dog goes crazy over people that ride bikes. Crazy. She wants to eat them. I think it's all I think she's all talk, but she pretends like she wants to eat them. Also, golf carts. She hates them. Also, the mailman. Classic dog. But yeah, if a if a person riding a bike drives by, oh, and I'm not ready for it. Bad news. Here we go. That one didn't work either. You see how hard it is, man? I got two dingers in a row the other night. It's really hard. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Something big. Something big. Bellinger. Chris Davis. And Duhar. Another and Duhar rookie. Got a pile of those stacking up. Brian Anderson rookie. Clint Frazier. Segura. Look at that face on Segura. He's just like, uh. Look at him. His eyes are barely even open. That's a hilarious card. Memorial Day. Why does it say Memorial Day on there? There's nothing to do with memorial okay got a u darvish and a blue willie calhoun got the blue not numbered but it's got a blue border so that means it's fancy going to texas be back i haven't really noticed any of the good rookies being in the second half of the pack. It's very early in the pattern recognition though. Maybe we'll figure it out a little bit better as we go along. Was that, where was that Devers at? Was that in the second half? That might've been. Yeah, how sweet would that be if you could get blasters for a Bowman on sale like that? They'll probably do that, won't they? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how it works, fanatics. 1499 blasters. If they get the 1499 blasters, oh, scoop them up. They're so, they're a pile of fun. If you guys go back, some of the first videos I made were of Bowman blaster boxes, and I got a stack of autographs and parallels and all kinds of stuff out of those blaster boxes. I didn't, however, get a stack of wanders, I only got a couple. But my cousin bought a bunch of them and he got a bunch of wanders. So go figure. Lots of rookies. Lots of rookies in a row right there. What is this? Is there something? Something's coming up. Maybe not. Okay, there's a cool one. Oh, Aaron Judge, Silver Slugger, followed by Clayton. Rainbow Claws. Going to Scott. Another nice rainbow. And the bias. Devers and Albies always follow each other in your three boxes you recently broke. Okay. So we got a little bit of a little bit of pattern to look forward to. Devers and Albies. Cause they were for us as well. So story checks out. You got two Wander autos from a blaster. What? And a mega box? What? Whoa. That's incredible, Rob. Did you keep them or did you sell them? Did you send them away? Tell me all the details. I want to know every detail. We got a thicky in there.
Yeah, there's Mother's Day ones in there, but they're not like anything. They're not anything crazy though, right? Yeah, like right there, it's not. It's not numbered or anything. They're just kind of parallels, right? They're um, subset cards, I think. Judge League Leaders. Is it worth it buying two blasters of 2020 Series 1? Um, I th Well, if you're on a budget, maybe just buy one. But if they're, you might have to buy a certain amount to get like free shipping. I imagine you have to spend a certain amount of money to get free shipping, so that's going to be an issue. Because if the, if you got to pay for shipping on that, it's going to end up costing you about the same. But like I said, the coupons in there make up for it. Because let me see if I got a pack laying around. We got plenty of time, guys. No one's in any rush here. Yeah, you get one of these. And look at all these coupons you get. Buck fifty off, two bucks off, dollar off, dollar off, dollar off, fifty off. All of these, and you can use these. It says, like it says, purchase three packs of opening day, get fifty cents off. But you can use these coupons on any of the tops releases. You don't have to use them on what it says. And I was told that by a clerk. She's like, yeah, just use it for whatever. I was like, okay. And I did, and I did use them on whatever, and it worked. Here we go. Eric Thames. Going to the Brew Crew. Is that, is she numbered? She's not numbered. But, it is a game used piece of memorabilia. Oh yeah, coupons are the best. If you show them the online price, you can get it for cheaper? Really? And can you use the coupons also? Let's, let's, figure, it, let's figure it all out, guys. So what, you say walk into Target with coupons and show the cashiers the online price and you can get them for real cheap. Oh, wow. It, can it be any online price or just the, like, so if uh, Fanatics or whatever you said was having a sale and they're for $14.99, they'll honor that? Or is it just like the Target online price if you're at Target or how? Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Another Flaherty. How many Flaherty's? What, four of them already? A lot of Flaherty's. KD's crushing. All right. Another one. Another one buys the dust. Jaden says, I use those $2 off coupons on fat packs at Walmart. Works every time. Yeah, that's a great deal, eh? There you go, Mark. But honey, I used a coupon. She'll just be like, all right, fine. I'm very proud of you for using that coupon. Go about your business. Yeah, that's a great deal. Five bucks or five fifty for a fat pack. Take $2 off. That's a great deal because not only are they the best value without any coupons, you're getting additional value. Maybe on the next spreadsheet video, value video, I'll consider that and make like another column where if you utilize all of the deals that you can get, especially at Target using their $5, their 5% off for the red card, and right around Bowman time, they have a thing where if you spend 100 bucks, you get 25 bucks off. And if you use coupons on top of that and a price match, whoa, guys, we're talking about we're talking, we're splitting the matrix apart right now. This is crazy. I'm speechless. 
I'm thinking about all the, the deals that can be had. And I'm smiling, <laughs> smiling like a Cheshire cat. I love a good deal. Victor! Not numbered. Still cool. I know. Come on, Devers. What is going on? There's a Hosmer SP. So we got one SP in the last box. And we just got a Hosmer. Let's go to Nina. Congratulations on the Hosmer. Wait a second. No, that's better than an SP. That's a black. Sorry about that. Yeah. Number to 67. I guess it kind of is an SP. Yeah, black. I couldn't even... Now I see it. Groovy. I'm using groovy a lot. I don't know why. I'm running out of adjectives. Okay, what are we going to do with this? Got to put it... Top load it. Put it next to this scope. Running out of room. It's a good sign. All these horizontals can suck an egg. You guys remember that phrase? Go suck an egg. Whoa, Hayden. I don't know about that one. I know you probably can, but sounds like we might be dabbling into the fraud area. I don't want to go there. Quick, serious question. 2020 Series 1 Blaster for $16.99 or 2020 Bowman for $19.98? Easy answer. Two, whoa, what? Oh, you said two. 220, yeah. The Bowman, for sure. Bowman. Every time. Just wait. If, you, if anybody's on a budget, hold out for Bowman. I know it's hard to wait, but it's your best... It's your best bet for long-term value, both floor and ceiling and mid-grade cards is Bowman, if you understand what I'm talking about. Like floors like the low-end stuff, ceilings the high-end. So you can get some of the most valuable cards that there are out of, out of Bowman. So I would wait for Bowman if that's what you're all about. But you also have to remember that they're going to be younger players. The valuable cards are going to be guys that haven't even made it into the majors yet. So it doesn't mean that they're not valuable still. They're still very valuable. But you haven't probably seen them play yet. There you go. There you go, Nina. Nina knows. All smiles. I'll bet they are. Look at them smiling. Like, did you hear them bang last inning? I popped one out. Because this is right around the time when that happened. This, this card is of that. All right, there's our short print. There's our short print. It's an Adam Jones. Another one going to Luke. There you go. Put him back with the other SP. Yeah, Bowman will have Robert, too. Good call, Cedar. Stream's going great. Schwab. Stream's going great. Ugh, missed it again. I'm not going to have many more chances to hit that dinger. Oh, Orioles have been plentiful. Like, good Oriole cards have been plentiful in this break. Uh oh, quality's not looking great. 
let it catch up for a second. Strikerbreaks.com, if anybody wants to get in on the next break, it's a very inexpensive one, and it'll be happening tomorrow. Be somewhat similar to this, except a few less boxes. We're only doing one jumbo. And instead of hanger boxes, we're doing blaster boxes. So upgrade the hangers to blasters. I know those Panini shill cards, man, they were, that was an easy flick. These ones are too thin. I'm not getting the right aerodynamics. There's another Devers, finally. There you go, Raphael. So we got two of them, Christopher and the Albies. Story checks out, Devers then Albies. And Zach Davies trying to sneak, him, sneak himself in there for no reason. Okay, there's a Bregman, Mother's Day. Oh, sweet, the Andujar, the gold Andujar. That's a good one. There you go, Mark. And it is clean, clean and sharp, dude. Clean and sharp, that's a 10, in my opinion. If you ever wanted to go there. Here's another guy, man, Andujar, this year is gonna be healthy, whew. He's good. And everybody forgot about him because he missed last year. Uh, the next one, oh, let me see if I can find my sheet. I wrote it down somewhere. Exactly. Okay, so the next one, the little, it's called the the mini 2018 jumbo series one mixer we're doing one jumbo with two silver packs two 2019 update blaster boxes two series one two series one blaster boxes 2020 series one jerko rainbow rainbow jerko Going to KD. Another Flaherty. So many Flaherty's. So many Flaherty's, you guys. I don't even know what to say about how many Flaherty's we've pulled. It makes me think that they're way more common than the other ones. Not a very large sample size to go with here, but... Man, are we pulling some Flaherty's. Strikerbreaks.com. S-T-R-Y-K-E-R. B-R-E-A-K-S dot com. B-R-E-A-K-S. Did, did I spell that right? I never learned how to spell breaks. I went to a, a very low-grade school. Here we go. Plenty to go. Plenty more. Trout. Another trap. Yeah, the Flaherty and Andujar show. And lots of these judges, too. Judging, always judging. Reese, a lot of Reese's. I knew we were going to get all the rookies. I just didn't know that we were going to get that many. Chris Davis, gold. Going to Mark B. 340 of 218. Superstar Cabrera. Brandon Belt, rainbow. Pretty loaded, pretty loaded pack. And another Cabrera. Garrett Cooper. Robles. There's the guy. Verdugo. I think we've only gotten two Verdugos. Hmm. 
All right, that pack is done. Got three packs left, plus two silvers. Get a sip of water. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Nina. All right, Mookie. Yeah, happy St. Paddy's Day, everybody. It's the first St. Paddy's Day I haven't gone out in a long, long time. Like, decade. At least a decade. Probably, like, quite a bit longer than that. We used to have a... It was like a special day for... It, there it is! It's an Aaron Nola auto. I'll get back to that story in a moment. Nice. On-card Aaron Nola auto. The 83 style. That's a clean auto. Clean. b -Mat. Crushing. Cedar, you got two rookie LBs from Mike O for four. Well, base cards that are ungraded are, are pretty inexpensive. You can get them for relatively inexpensive because they're pretty plentiful. But once you get them graded, if you, can, if you can pull a 10, then they go up quite a bit in value. I don't know what LBs is at. I would imagine a PSA 10 of LBs is probably between 20 and $30. Just a guess. Maybe less. Maybe like 15 to 25. 15 to 20. I don't know. But it looks from this opening that the Albies and the Devers are more rare than some of the others. Yeah, that is a sweet looking card, that auto. Anyway, back to the story about St. Paddy's. We make a big deal about it. Like, we get up 8 a.m., get to the bar at 9, and just spend all day and night. Most of my friends and family have Irish heritage, so it's kind of a big celebration, big deal for us. But. It's also just a bunch of booze hounds from our college days getting back together. Yeah, Rob knows all about Nola. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely good. He's gotten better over the years too, seems like. Not a big strikeout guy, more of like a good pitcher, right? Although I think he had better strikeout numbers last year, if I recall correctly. 10 to 20 on the Albies, rookie, PSA, Chrome. I went to Central Michigan University. CMU, go Chips! Who came from Central Michigan University that's famous? Dan Marley. Chris Kamen, not that famous, but professional basketball player. Uh, how about Antonio Brown? Forget about his craziness recently. He was one of the best football players. Uh, even, who else? Oh, J.J. Watt went there as well briefly. Strasburg, going to Clinton. So some ballers have been there. Carnegie Mellon. Yeah. 
Yeah, check out the nature video, guys. I went for a walk. It's like a 30-minute video. I know it's long, and I figured people, I don't know, might not be into it that much. But if you want to help me out, just watch the whole thing. The longer you watch it, the more it helps me out because YouTube logarithms take that into account. Even if you don't want to watch it, just put it on in the background. Everybody needs help these times. I'll scratch your back, give you a free video. You scratch mine by watching it. All right. All right, last chance. One of the last chances. Oh, okay. I got the rebound. It's okay. Yes. Yes, I got it. Woo. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Bueller. Thunder Dan. Oh, yeah. Legend. Dan Marley was one of my favorite players like way long ago before I even went to Central. So it's just a coincidence, I guess. Thunder Dan. Legend. Last pack, guys. Then we got two silvers. Then we'll wrap it up. Dan coaches GCU basketball, really. What's GCU stand for? Georgia State, Georgia Community, what is that? I have no clue. We got a big thicky in here. Hopefully it's something special. Potent pair. I think they were kind of running out of running out of things to say about him. Yeah, potent pair. I don't know. I think they're running out of ideas at that point. Is it an auto? Oh, Grand Canyon University. Cool. Auto relic. Let's hope. Let's hope. I'm gonna go like that. We'll look at these first. Look at the back half. Back half. Be a good way to wind it down. Let's do it. Here we go. Getting closer. Eric Davis. Paul Goldschmidt. Bo and Clayton Kershaw all-star game relic it's very heavy give that I'll give it that it's very heavy yep the Miami all-star game Clayton Claus with a goofy goofy look on his face really goofy Yeah, sleeved. Yeah, Royals. The Royals can lead you to a bow at any time. Okay. Got a couple silver packs, guys. The best may be in these packs. Is there, are there a thick? This one feels a little thicker right here. Let's, let's save it. Maybe we'll get a parallel or something. You can get nice parallels. Silver pack mojo, let's go! Come on! We're grooving. The music's rocking. I'm not gonna get in trouble this time, I hope, for playing copyrighted music. Can we get lucky with another dinger? Boom! It's a good sign. Brandon Woodruff. Max. Fowler, okay. Saving the potential thicky. Come on, big auto. Come on!
Mm. Granite. Jeter. Not bad. Mancini, another Orioles hit. And Ryan McMahon. Potential for one last dinger. Nope. Tried. Two for eight, maybe. All right. I can't do the flyover because my stand doesn't allow me to do that, really. So, I don't know. We'll see. Start off with the NOLA. Look at that beauty. Beautiful auto. Got Clayton, all-star game relic. Eric Thames, memorabilia. Got the gold Miguel. Clean, real clean too. Black Hosmer to 67. Pretty little scope to 76. Beauty. Got that Ryan McMahon auto. Number to 99. Bang. I don't know if we even looked at the back, did we? Yeah, it's number to 99. Jess crushing. Two Miggy relics. Look at that. Got the Bueller rainbow. Flaherty Rainbow, Foil. Trout Foil. Couple of short prints too. Adam Jones and Osuna. And we got a numbered Fowler to 299. So, strikerbreaks.com if you guys wanna get in on the next break. I'm going to sort all this up. I'll get it shipped out to you tomorrow. So hopefully you'll get it fairly quickly. Shoot me an email if you want to chat. Watch the videos. Hook me up. Thanks for coming by, guys. It was a great time. I wish you all the best of health and spirit. Keep your spirit high. And keep crushing, guys. I'll catch you later.